just recently we were uh, chasing the anchovy schools and we found that the the activity was really sporadic with uh, the birds and the fish working then popping down and we would uh, find it really difficult to locate them just finding where the kingfish are can be a real job so I was lucky enough to well, hey, eat across this hey, guy here hey what are you doing on this boat mate yeah. know. Um, Josh Josh Darby and uh, he introduced me to a really cool way of um, fishing with stick baits when you're not quite sure where your, um, where your quarry actually is it's a good way to locate it and then once you've found them you can go and cast and target them in the area you can use either two stick baits one might be float uh, they could both be floating one might be a sinker or you can use a rapala or you can use a popper it doesn't really matter like it's quite good to mix it up so sometimes you've got something diving down sometimes um, you've got another one splashing on the surface in this case I've been doing super well with this little Maria Rapido 190. It's, uh, I think it's an 035 model, which is, and as you can see, it's just in between a um, flying fish and um, a mullet. So we'll put it back here. I like it to be around about, usually about 50 meters, not too far, because if you get a big fish on and he, um, he's easy, it's easier for him to go and um, just bury you down on the bottom, get caught up in the rocks. And Josh has got a different type of lure out. He's got a sinker so that it's actually um, push, pushing different buttons. So we've got twice as much um, chance of actually getting a fish. But the key thing here is to always make the most of your lure's attributes. In this case, but it's about knowing how to get the best from this lure when I pull the rod forward. A stick bait is, is um, activated by the movement of the rod. We do a sweep. We don't do it very hard. The reason I know that it's about this sort of a speed is because after casting it a long time I know what sort of speed it works best I want it to do a bit of a splash then a bit of a shimmy under the water and because we're already going ahead we do a much slower speed than we normally would if we were just normally retrieving it so this is all it is out there around about 50 meters Josh might be sort of 60 or 70 sometimes or he might be in a bit closer than me and we're just working these lures with the poppers or stick baits the pulsing is the thing it just makes it more erratic and just how much you work it depends on what it is and that's all there is to it very very simple just work those lures the way they like to be worked and um, real real slow just like three or four knots and uh, you'll be surprised at how the results come